For both movie lovers and investors alike, the name Michael Burry has become a household name. Michael Burry is a hedge fund manager and investor from the United States. During the 2008 financial crisis, he gained recognition for wagering against the real estate market and earned his investors huge sums. In fact, The Big Short, a movie based on Michael Lewis's book, recounted this story. Burry has been a Tesla bear since 2020 and has been predicting the fall of Tesla shares for a while now. Since share prices among electric vehicle manufacturers have been dropping, Tesla has not been unaffected, thus giving credibility to Burry's predictions. However, Burry predicts Tesla stock prices will crash 70% more. What is the reasoning behind Burry's statements? Will Tesla's stock prices fall? What are the other analysts and experts saying? Let's find out. Dr. Michael Burry is a physician, computer scientist, value investor, and hedge fund manager from the United States. He is the creator of Scion Capital LLC, a hedge fund he ran during the great financial crisis of 2008, reaping billions in gains for his clients when the American housing market collapsed. Scion Capital LLC was founded by Burry in 2001. The fund earned a 55% return in its first year because of Burry's astute investment approach. With Scion, he had $600 million in assets under management by 2004, making him a person of interest in the field of investing. This leads us to 2020, when Michael Burry took a stand and made a public bet against Tesla, describing its stock as a bubble on the verge of bursting. He later accused Elon Musk of selling his company shares not to pay taxes or placate regulators, but because he knows they're expensive. We'll circle back to this in a minute. Investors who were expecting the Tesla stock price to go up had a harsh, painful surprise in 2022 when it dropped by more than 35% to $800.77 as of the 25th of February. Truth be told, the shadow created by events in Ukraine and the introduction of sanctions on Russia are surely contributing to this downturn. Also, a gloomy cloud is looming over high-tech companies in general, the electric vehicle industry in particular. However, there are several Tesla-specific difficulties that may be driving market unrest. Its CEO is immersed in a lengthy battle with the Securities and Exchange Commission over a 2018 agreement. Casual investors who purchase meme stocks and cryptocurrencies are setting themselves up for massive losses, according to Michael Burry, who issued a warning. He posted a tweet saying, Can Tesla fall 80-90%? After 2000, many high flyers did. Amazon fell 95% two decades ago, changed its whole biz, and thrived much later. Fear of missing out, according to Burry, has pushed asset values to unsustainable heights. He warned that the fear of missing out parabolas won't resolve sideways. When Burry first said that he was shorting Tesla, he cited the company's valuation as absurd and drawing parallels to the real estate bubble before urging the public to dump that hashtag Tesla souffle. Now, the doctor predicts that Tesla stock might drop as much as 90% this year without severe consequences. In a tweet, he said, Tesla below $100 per share before the end of the year will not crash the system. In such a collapse, there's no reflexivity. However, it would mark the end of an era for a particular form of investment. Having assumed the online pseudonym Cassandra, it's a reference to a priestess in Greek mythology who was doomed to deliver truthful prophecies but never to be trusted. Burry said to the skeptics who didn't believe him, Well, my last big short got bigger and bigger and bigger too. Tesla's $60 billion increase in market cap today alone. Enjoy it while it lasts. Burry tweeted this in reference to his historic gamble against the U.S. housing market, which netted Scion Asset Management investors $750 million and his personal bank account $100 million. Burry's claims seem to have some merit, as Tesla was only trading at roughly $95 per share at the start of 2020. Fast forward to February of this year, and Tesla is valued at over $800 per share, indicating an 826% increase and establishing Elon Musk's reputation as the world's richest man. However, information has come to light that Michael Burry may well have abandoned some of his most flamboyant shorts, at least for the time being. Bets against Kathy Wood's flagship ARK Innovation ETF, Elon Musk's Tesla Incorporated, and the largest treasury exchange traded fund, the iShares 20 plus year treasury bond ETF, were among the trades the firm closed in the third quarter. Because the complete facts of the firm's bearish put options were never revealed, it's unknown how successful the wagers were. Last month, Burry told CNBC that he had terminated his Tesla bet and that it was only a trade. So does this mean he no longer believes Tesla's stock prices will fall? 
In a recent interview, Burry said that stock market speculation has reached a critical stage not seen since the 1929 disaster, and assets are more overvalued than they were when the dot-com bubble burst. He also fears that the current level of geopolitical and economic turmoil will surpass that of the 70s. His concern appears to be that we're on the verge of an economic disaster, and that government regulators like the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Federal Reserve are doing little to stop it. Burry has been selling off shares in addition to his constant lurking and shading of Tesla CEO Elon Musk on Twitter. He cut his common stock holdings from $137 million to just $42 million in the third quarter of 2021. Things haven't been looking too good for Tesla lately. Its production factory in Germany has yet to open. The opening date has been postponed multiple times. The factory is seen as critical to Tesla's European ambitions and, eventually, company expansion. The production of its proposed electric pickup truck has been delayed until at least the first quarter of 2023. It was originally scheduled for late 2022, but now it's been pushed back. What are other experts saying? There may not be a more popular company on Wall Street with a wider variety of predicted outcomes than Tesla Incorporated. In one editorial, a small group of investment banks predicts that the electric vehicle giant will hit $1,400 in the coming year. JP Morgan analyst Ryan Brinkman, on the other hand, predicts a drop in Tesla shares to $325, despite recently raising his firm's price objective on the stock. He said in a recent note that the price took into account advantages such as a very unique business model, an appealing product selection, and cutting-edge technology. He went on further to say, Its goods are bold, unusual, exquisite, and incredibly exciting to drive. The organization is driven by visionary leadership and supported by a functionally strong management team. However, Brinkman raised certain issues that have an impact on how much he thinks the company is worth. Expansion into higher volume areas with lower price points appears laden with greater risk in terms of demand, execution, and competition, despite the fact that both technology and execution risk appear to be significantly less than formerly feared. This is a convincing point, as the business has a track record of overpromising and underdelivering. This is not to suggest that Tesla and Musk aren't responsible for a number of groundbreaking electric vehicles and solutions. Rather, it's to emphasize that product release dates rarely come to fulfillment. The Cybertruck, for example, will be delayed by at least two years from its expected launch date. Despite the fact that Tesla is the first car maker in more than five decades to construct itself from the ground up for mass manufacturing, it still has a long way to go. Other experts say investors shouldn't be worried, and some events currently occurring might favor growth stocks. Some analysts even said that if there is a crash, Tesla stock will be able to weather the storm, citing that while raising interest rates may be a source of concern for some investors, Tesla shares are well positioned to weather the storm. Despite common belief, growth stocks are likely to rise in 2022, according to investor place analyst Luke Lango. The theory he lays out is unmistakably applicable to Tesla. Citing an example, he explains that in December 2016, the Federal Reserve began a continuous rate hike cycle for the first time. Over the next two years, the Federal Reserve raised interest rates eight times. Growth stocks soared during this period. Kathy Wood's flagship ARK Innovation Exchange Traded Fund had risen 90% since its inception, representing a group of the market's fastest growing businesses. Growth stocks had underperformed significantly in 2021, ahead of what most believe will be the start of a new rate rise cycle in 2022. However, history suggests that once rate hike cycle begins, growth stocks will shake out their slump and surge higher, far higher. Despite the fact that everyone is of the opinion that growth stocks would struggle in 2022 due to a rate hike cycle, the smartest thing you can do right now might be to buy growth stocks. If history can be trusted, they're expecting a big year in 2022, so we're not sure we agree with Burry on this. If anything, we believe after the stock gets low to a certain point, it would climb back up and experience accelerated growth. What do you think of Burry's predictions? Will Tesla stock prices drop or soar? Comment down below.